Well, first on Fox tonight, a pregnant Honduran woman awaiting her asylum just across the border taking drastic measures. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Ryan Wolf. And I'm Jamie Virgen. Camila has the night off. That woman jumped into the Rio Grande as she went into labor, giving birth on the U.S. side of the border in Eagle Pass. Now, she and her baby, who is only a day old, have been separated in limbo, not knowing what will happen to either one of them. These were the images released last night by CBP, U.S. Customs and Border Protection, after they found the woman in labor. We will call her Jessica. Jessica had just given birth to a baby girl in an area known as Normandy in Eagle Pass, Texas, after crossing the river. She was then taken to the hospital with the child, the local hospital, and then she was separated. As she was taken out of the hospital and supposedly back to the CBP border station. Amy Maldonado is Jessica's attorney, hired by a family member here in the U.S. after Jessica was allowed one phone call. She was only able to speak for a few minutes, but she told the cousin that she was afraid because she had been told by Border Patrol that she was going to be sent back to Mexico and the baby would remain in the United States, that she was going to be separated from her baby. Her U.S.-born daughter is now spending her first days of life at University Hospital here in San Antonio. Maldonado tells us the baby is in stable condition in the neonatal intensive care unit. It is believed that Jessica has not been deported yet and is in custody in Eagle Pass. This mom is from Honduras. She's never supposed to be in Mexico. So she's not been deported. Her asylum process continues, but all of those courts have been shut down now for six months because of the pandemic. So people are just waiting on the streets of Mexico with nothing, getting okay. more and more desperate. So the question now is, what will happen to the baby? Should the child also be deported with mom? No, um, the government has no jurisdiction to deport US citizens. And that's the 14th Amendment of the United States. Every person born here is a US citizen. You're an asylum seeker doesn't mean you're not a parent with a right to make decisions for your children. Sources tell us that the woman was prepared with a bag containing scissors and blankets in order to give birth once she got to the U.S. side of the river. Again, CBP officers were present when the baby was born and helped mother and child, according to a CBP spokesperson. Now, according to the mother's attorney who is in contact with CBP in Washington, D.C., they were told that the only reason the mom is not with her baby is because of University Hospital's policy on COVID-19. We check with University Hospital. Their policy is that a parent can be with their baby in the NICU as long as they follow COVID protocols.